computer. Okay. So, today's class is going to start with the end of yesterday's class. Okay. So, basically, we're going to start today's class with a video and a really short activity I assigned yesterday. So, let me start projecting this, please. Uh, yes. I have a question about unless again. The thing <laughs> is, if I use unless, uh, for example, next to unless, uh, iría el sujeto, I, unless I, unless you. Mm -hmm. or, yes, yes, yes. yes. Like, si no yo. More or less, if you want to understand it like that, yeah. <laughs> I mean, the translation is not the, like the most accurate I've ever had in my life, but if you understand it like that, it's okay. Okay. Most people translate it as a menos que. Most people, right? But it, you need to think in English, if not, yeah. to better understand it in a sentence. Uh, so, what, what, what is it? Let me go back. Uh, jan, jan, jan. Okay, so let me start sharing my screen. Uh, can you please, I know there are some new students, can you please like send the message? I don't want to like open a new tab, write down WhatsApp web, blah, 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 open the chat. So can you please write down, hey guys, time to start, especially for the ones that are new. Maybe they don't know we are used to this and uh, that's why. Okay, ladies, so remember, one second. This is the exercise I was talking about yesterday. This exercise was presumed to be done at home, but we're going to do it in class with the answers you've got from the exercise I think you did at home, right? <laughs> so, uh, I will randomly ask you, so Mayra, can you please complete number one and two? Okay. Number one and two. Okay, let me see. Can you use the, yes, you can use it. So go ahead. Okay, I've got a better solution. Wash your hands. If you keep your hands clean, you won't pass on, ger on germs. Okay. Now, are we talking about something that's factual or a possibility in the future? Okay, so you might not? No, 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 I, no, no don't, don't worry. It's just like something factual, like something true, or a possibility in the future. Like a possibility in the future? Yes, no, maybe? I mean, does it compare? You, you want... Is that something that's going to happen in the future? You won't. Yes, the, the second part. You won't pass on germs. Is that something that's going to happen in the future? Again, please. Okay, so remember, we have first condition. The first part is the simple present part. Now, I'm asking you, is the second part talking about something that's going to happen in the future? Yes. Uh, yes. Possible. Okay, that was it. <laughs> okay, now, okay. number three and number four uh, are going to be completed by Chun Chun. But Chun, sorry, do, do we have a volunteer? Valentina, I think it was, well, uh, hello, Alejandra, hello, Luisita. <laughs> what happened? No, I'm going to rename Jesus. No, Luisita. W. <laughs> there you have it. Okay, so Valentina. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, Valentina, can you please complete uh, number three and number four? Because it's the same sentence. Yes, and how ridiculous. People will think you are unfriendly to refuse a handshake. Uh, you, you give me a second. Okay, how ridiculous. Very good pronunciation. People, people what? Will think. Very good job. 
people will think you are unfriendly. If you refuse, if you I don't know the pronunciation. Refuse, refuse, yes. Refuse, if you refuse a handshake. Okay, very good job, incredible. Anyway, what's so true about getting a call? Okay, now number five and number six, uh, Lisa Fernanda Duran. Can you please complete them? Five and six. Sorry, sorry, you can do it now. Mm, teacher. <laughs> yes, tell me. Number five and six? Yes, dear. If you <laughs> a call, it the end of the word. If you will get a call, it won't, won't be the end of the word. Okay, so let me repeat it for you. This is what I got. If you will get, that's what you said? Yeah. Okay, now pay attention. Remember the if part, the if part is in the what? The simple present. So if you get, if you get a call, it, thank you very much. The second part is correct. It won't be the end of the word, right? That's it. Okay. Um, what about seven and eight? Maria Alejandra Paternina and stop it now. <laughs> Why you're is that? Feel, you're making me feel hungry. Uh, can you please complete? Tome, drink, drink chocolatito with lechecita. No, choco, choco ready. <laughs> I know. Choco ready. <laughs> hey, Alejandra. Esa... Me voy a caer en cuenta. <laughs> what? Choco ready? Choco ready. Okay, it's time to complete seven and eight. Do it, please. I don't know how to pronounce uh, handshaking. handshaking. Okay. It's fine. Trust me. I am doctor. If you aren't touched your eyes and nose after a handshake, you very probably will will want want sorry want won't get ill. Okay. Alejandra, I'm going to say what you said. You pay attention. If you are not touched, are you sure? Or if, what, what if I say if you don't? Is it better? Mm. Okay. If you don't. Okay. If you don't touch your eyes and nose after a handshake, you very probably won't get ill. All right, very good job, All right? Don't worry, don't get confused, right? Remember we use, <laughs> yes? I have a question. Uh, in case that the, the sentence was, if you aren't touching your eyes, is it good or, or not? Mm, it wouldn't sound like very, very natural. That's something a non-native speaker would say. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it, it's like, no, no, okay? Uh, what about number nine and number 10? Let me see the list of students, precious students I have. In a moment, I'm going to introduce to you our new student we have. And he's there, he hasn't said anything. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Um, I don't know, like Lisa he's, Fernanda W. He's here? Yes, he's here. He's watching us. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, number nine and number ten, Lisa Fernanda W. Go ahead. Banking tips. Seriously? And in my country, you. I think the one that is. No, no, it's not you, Duran. Sorry. W, w is Lisa Fernanda. The thing is that there are two Lisa Fernandas. Remember, you are Luisa Duran, and we also have uh, Luisita. Luisa PW. Yes, <laughs> Luisita W. Luisita W is the one that has to speak. Luisita W, it's your turn. Nine and ten. Okay. Uh, 
bumping fists seriously. In my country, you will look very silly if you uh, if you will do this. I don't know. Okay, don't worry. No right, no wrong answers. Ladies, once again, keep it basic. I'm going to use the annotate tool. Give me a second. Here it is. So remember, the if part, the if part uses the simple present. Okay? No, I used to leave. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so if you do this, right? If you do this, a synonym for the word silly. You look very silly. Silly, like what? What's that? A synonym. Dumb. Sorry? That, well, dumb is like <laughs> too far, too <laughs> far. <laughs> According to the context, like silly. Synonym. Woof, there are like 10. Stupid. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That's like jerk, like jerk. Like a jerk, right? Jerk is more likely to be something native speakers would use. But the thing is, uh, uh, how can I give you a contextualized rejection? So jerk is like huevon in Spanish, right? A jerk person. Oh my God. Jerk. Yes, that's, that's like the context of the, yeah. And the, the context of the, of the expression. That's kind of slang, uh, but native speakers use it a lot. If they say you're a jerk, it, and if you want to translate that, into Spanish, it will be something like you are a huevon, all right? <laughs> all right, time to continue. All right, now, the second part, as I was saying before, I'm going to stop sharing. And we've got a new student. His name is, uh, well, I uh, thought it was Alex, Alexander. Okay, so say hello, Alexander. How are you today? Hi, teacher. Alexander DJ. DJ, DJ <laughs> I'm no. fine. I don't think he's a DJ. <laughs> no, Luisa. Luisita W, no. Okay, Alex, um, <laughs> what are your expectations about the course? What do you expect to learn? Um, how old are you? I usually ask these questions to my students, so go ahead. Uh, teacher, I'm sorry, but in this moment, my connection is bad. And I say you uh, middle. <laughs> You repeat me, please. Okay, 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 I understand. I sometimes sound like a robot. So, Alexander, one, your expectations about the course, expectations, and two, how old are you? I understand my expectation. Yes. The, the, this course? Yeah. Okay, teacher, my expectation is to learn English. And I enjoy studying English, and for me, it's very, very important. Okay. Uh, Alexander, uh, the second question, how old are you? And uh, there is something else. Can you please turn on your camera? The thing is, nobody here knows you, so we would like to, to see you for the mm -hmm. first time. The, the, uh, the camera? Yes, please. Turn it on for a second. Hello. Okay. That's it. That's it. Boy, how are you? Okay, that's it. Say hi, ladies. Say hi. Okay. That's beautiful. Hi. 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 Okay. Welcome, Alexander. Thank you. This, this is a very warm and special group. I know you are going to feel special here. Everybody's special here. Uh, so of course, because we are the best. <laughs> And I am the president, uh, sorry. <laughs> um, sorry about my office, I know it sounds and it looks and uh, everything is kind of weird for you. It's the first time you're here and you see your teacher, I'm 23 years old, I'm very young. Um, and my ladies are very young too. Everybody here is young, that's why I ask um, the age of my students because I don't want to feel like, like, you know, hopefully I've got students that are younger than me so I can feel like I'm teaching uh, like people who is, who is kind of jerking at me. Okay, so time to, time to continue. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> I can finally say that. 
Uh, it's going to continue and the second part, the second part of the beginning of today's class is a video, right? So be prepared for it. I'm going to ask you some questions about it and I'm going to give you some extra points if you answer those questions correctly, right? So pay close attention to, give me, give me a second. Uh, no, no, he didn't answer the second question. Uh, uh, yeah, you can, can you? Okay, give us a second. Uh, Alexander, so. Okay. Let's, let's, let's give him a second. So, as I was saying before, it's time to continue. So, pay close attention to the video, the vocabulary they use. Remember, yesterday's lesson was about greetings. So, shouldn't be the sound. What happened here? Okay. Uh, chan, chan, chan. Here is the video. Let me see the. Okay, for the rest of the group. He's 30 years old. He's the oldest, I think. I think he's the oldest person now in the group. Hora is not with us anymore. Jesus, I want to cry. <laughs> okay, so let me chan, chan, chan. Okay. do you greet people in your country? With a handshake or a kiss on the cheek or a hug? Well, I am from Gothenburg in Sweden and it's a little bit different to, to here in the UK. I usually shake hands and say good morning or hello or good afternoon depending on the time of day. I shake hands with men and I, when I greet a woman, I, a woman who I know, I kiss her on both cheeks. If it's a woman I don't know, I would shake her hand. Um, it's usually a casual hello. If it's a formal, it's a handshake. And if it's a good friend, it's hugs and kisses. How do you greet your friends, family, and colleagues? Colleagues will shake hands. Male friends, we hug. Female friends, we kiss on the cheeks. Uh, in Sweden, we uh, we greet by by uh, by hugging, whereas here in the UK, you greet by kissing on the cheeks. Colleagues, uh, it's the same. We shake hands. Family, we greet by hugging. Colleagues, it depends. Uh, Inform. I mean, colleagues I don't know well, it's the shaking hands. Um, because of the line of work I do, colleagues that I'm very close to, it's like they're close friends, so we might hug. Friends and family, um, a hug, kiss, um, kiss on both cheeks. My, my dad actually kisses me on both cheeks when he sees me. Colleagues always a handshake. Oh, family and friends, it's hugs and kisses. The grandchildren jump up on me. Um, my daughter and son, we just hug and kiss. Um, if I'm close to them, have a, a good, warm relationship, again, it's a hug and a kiss. Otherwise, if it's more professional, it's a handshake. Are the rules the same for men and women? No, women are less formal. Women will kiss friends and maybe in business shake hands, but a lot, lot less formal. Yes, the rules are the same for both men and, men and women. Yes, actually, <laughs> at least in my part of the country. No, I th at, at work? Um, no, they're different. I think there's, there's different greetings, but it depends on the situation. In terms of greeting? Um, I think so. <laughs> Okay, so here is the big question. Here is the big question, big question, big question. How many people were speaking in the video? 
three, four, sorry, four. Five, four, yeah, four. Five. No, 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 four, four, four. Yes, four. four. Six, seven, nine, ten, eleven. Five. Oh. We, will, we will watch the video again, all right? Now, the last part of the video. I just want you to tell me something. In the case of men, pay attention. In the case of men, most of them thought the rules when greeting were different. What happened with women? What do it's they? It's more. It's more. It's more formal. Okay. It's more what? Like and, 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 for example, it depends on the situation. Okay, it depends on the situation. Uh, I think Luisa Duran wanted to say something. Go ahead, <laughs> Luisa Duran. <laughs> hmm? You want it? Okay, no, don't worry. So, we are going to no, watch... No, fue, no, fue... W? Fue, Luis, fue el W. Okay, W, you wanted to say something? I yes. uh, said, like, the woman's uh, great was like, like a kiss on the cheek and, and a hug. Okay. Okay. That's the first thing. That's the first thing. Okay. So when I was talking about women, I was talking about the people in the video, the, the interviewees. Most of them said that the rules for them when greeting were pretty much the same, but men had a different opinion. I want you to rewatch that. And I want you to tell me why. I have another question. It's about names. So pay close attention to their names. Uh, I need to, give me a second. Chun, 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 chun. How do you greet people in your country? With a handshake or a kiss on the cheek or a hug? Well, I am from Gothenburg in Sweden and it's a little bit different to, to here in the UK. I usually shake hands and say good morning or hello or good afternoon depending on the time of day. I shake hands with men and I, when I greet a woman, I, a woman who I know, I kiss her on both cheeks. If it's a woman I don't know, I would shake her hand. Um, it's usually a casual hello. If it's a formal, it's a handshake. And if it's a good friend, it's hugs and kisses. Okay, so here is the question. Here is the question. Pay close attention. Where is Joachim from? Where is Joachim from? I'm not going to give you one point, okay. I'm going to give you five. Sorry? Mr. No, UK? Noruega. No. Is not UK? No, it is not. He's living there, but he's not from there. It's friends. <laughs> <laughs> no. Wait, wait. Five, four. Wait. Three. No, teacher, wait. <laughs> London. No. <laughs> Ten, uh, Mariana, yes? Switzerland. I said Switzerland. Sorry, sorry? Switzerland. Ah, jeez. I said it. Let me go back. Let me go back. No, this is not. I greet when I went. Or hello or good afternoon. I'm from Gothenburg in Sweden, and it's. From where? Gothenburg. In Sweden. Oh, Sweden. Ah, Sweden. you see, you see, Switzerland. I was like, what? <laughs> I said it. <laughs> I'm going to rewatch the video. All right, don't worry. If you said it, let me know, let me tell. Okay. You. Okay, and there is a proof that I watched the videos in order to check if you said it or not. Mariana, what happened the last time you said something, and I didn't trust you? I watched the video. And I told her, hey, Mariana. At 11 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching the video. I had to watch it. I had to make sure. I'm going to the bed. And the teacher says, yes, you have the reason. <laughs> <laughs> you are right. You said it. 
Uh, okay, so it's time to continue. It's a handshake, and if it's a good friend, it's hugs and kisses. How do you greet your friends, family, and colleagues? Colleagues will shake hands. Male friends, we hug. Female friends, we kiss on the cheeks. Uh, in Sweden, we uh, we greet by by uh, by hugging, whereas here in the UK, we greet by kissing on the cheeks. Colleagues, uh, it's the same. We shake hands. Family, we greet by hugging. Colleagues, it depends. Uh, Inform. I mean, colleagues I don't know well, it's the shaking hands. Um, because of the line of work I do, colleagues that I'm very close to, it's like they're close friends, so we might hug. Friends and family, um, a hug, kiss, um, kiss on both cheeks. My, my dad actually kisses me on both cheeks when he sees me. Colleagues, always a handshake. Oh, family and friends, it's hugs and kisses. The grandchildren jump up on me. Um, my daughter and son, we just hug and kiss. Um, if I'm close to them, have a, a good, warm relationship, again, it's a hug and a kiss. Otherwise, if it's more professional, it's a handshake. Okay, so here's the second question, right? Here's the second question. So how does, pay attention, how does Elizabeth greet her family members. How does she, Elizabeth, greet her family members? With kisses and then like a hug. Okay, you've got it. You got the point. I'm going to grab your name. Here. Woo! <laughs> Lu Luisita W. W. You are there. Okay, time to continue. Uh, sorry. Are the rules the same for men and women? No, women are less formal. Women will kiss friends and maybe in business shake hands, but a lot, lot less formal. Yes, the rules are the same for both men and, men and women. Yes, actually, <laughs> at least in my part of the country. No, I th at, at work. Um, no, they're different. I think there's there's different greetings, but it depends on the situation. In terms of greeting, um, I think so. Okay, so this is the last time. This is the last question I'm going to ask you. So, what is Andrews? Okay, Andrew's opinion about the rules. That is about the situation. Sorry, this can, is, can you repeat? This is uh -huh, But it's and about the situation. Because, because for him, it depends on the situation. Off or on? I said it first. Of the situation. On, be careful. Both of you are going to get the point, right? Both of you, Luisa Fernanda or Luisita W and Alejandra, right? Finally, it's Don Maria Paternina, Alejandra. <laughs> I want that name. <laughs> oh, geez, sorry. All right. It can happen. Why not? Okay. Ladies, if we continue. How was the video? Was it difficult? Was it hard? Was it easy? Middle easy. level? Middle level? Easy. Okay, that's nice. Nice to hear that. Glad, glad to hear that, right? Uh, ladies and uh, gentlemen, it's time to continue. So today's class is going to be about unit 9.2. Okay. So today's goal, right? The name of unit 9.2 is going back to nature. Pay attention to the pronunciation. Nature, is that sh nature, all right? Today's goals, one, talked about health and fitness, all right? And two, use present tenses into future time classes, all right? The second part of today's class is very close to yesterday's topic. So don't get confused. I know the goal sounds like something difficult, but it isn't. 
Let me see the chat before we continue. Mister, it's not important. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> so vocabulary in breathing, right? Health and fitness. There is one thing, pay attention, there is one thing I need to say before we start with today's lesson, and it's about vocabulary, right? So, you get fit, all right? When you say you get fit, that means that you are going to start the process of getting fit, right? And you can also say to keep fit, okay? And what's the difference? With get, you are going to start the process. With keep, the process has already started in the past, okay? That's the difference between both. Now, it's time to continue. Uh, I would like to listen to Mariana. Can you please read point can number one? Yes. Teacher. Yes? Can you repeat the difference? Okay, thank you. Thanks for asking. So one, get fit. Remember, get fit. You are going to start the process, right? If somebody tells you, hey, you need to get fit, right? That's because maybe you're getting fat, like me. <laughs> All right? Now, if somebody tells you, hey, you need to get fit, right? That means you're in a good condition, right? You're in a good condition and you need to be or keep working on it, right? Okay, yes. So, Mariana, sorry, you can continue. The first. Yep. Work with a partner and discuss the questions. One, what do you know? What do you do? Do keep fit and healthy. Okay. Two, do you enjoy doing physical exer exercise? Why? Why not? Uh, okay, so I'm going to use the breakout room tools. Sorry, tool. Rooms tool. And I want you to discuss these two questions. So one, remember, what do you do to keep fit and healthy? One, like what are your habits? What do you eat? What do you really do in order to, to keep your body the way it is? Number two, do you enjoy doing physical exercise? Why and why not? All right? If you enjoy it, all right, try to say or describe your routine. Okay? I know most of us, at least are doing a little physical exercise because we need we need to keep fit all right so i'm going to start using the breakout rooms tool now and let me tell you you are going to be working in groups of three right i'm going to give you five minutes in order to talk about these two questions time to start You can join the breakup room now. Of course, yes. Oh, oh yes. yeah. I, I totally like, agree with you. I mean, actually, I really enjoy it. Okay. Actually, we can do it Thursday. So okay. 
What, what kind of physical exercises do you like to do? Like CrossFit? Do you like lifting weights? What do you like to do? Like, Push and you really like CrossFit. CrossFit. Okay. I really can go to my gym. <laughs> like circuit, circuitos, 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 yes. Uh, no, that would be like um, mm, circuits, yeah. Circus. But it's not in electromechanic or something. Yes, it would be something like that. Circuits, like it would be yeah. the easiest way to translate that routines. Okay, yes, routines. Maida, sorry. But yes. <laughs> really, I, I don't like so much the gym. I prefer practice other uh, kind of uh, exercise, like run and bike, bike or, or, or sport. Or, yes, uh, uh, sport. Different no, sports. you play soccer, right? Am I right? Yes. Okay. Yes. I also know the last thing you did was to buy a bike in order to go to practice because you wanted to okay good cool. Cool, cool, cool. yes but i i have to leave my bike in barranca bermeja so um where are you in Bucaramanga. I also Bucaramanga. <gasps> yes luisa fernanda Dapol, you loves Trust me, she does love volleyball. Yes, I actually love it. What? Love it. <laughs> volleyball. 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 Right, ladies, gotta leave you. No, I don't like. Continue speaking. Okay. Bye. Bye. Very, it's very good for me. I enjoy more uh, in my home. It's a little sad. Yes, it's a little sad. But it's, it's very, alone. It's alone. Okay. Okay, guys. And motivation. Yeah. Yes, your body is your motivation. Guys, I've got a question. What kind of exercise, physical exercise, do you like to do? All right. Like CrossFit, you like running, you like cycling, you cycling. like. What do you like? A sport? Why not? Cycling. <laughs> Okay. What about you, Alexander? Teacher, uh, uh, function, fun, functional in English is functional. Uh, functional. Okay, functional because uh, I don't have um, weight. Weight. Uh, ah, um, okay, like weights. Uh, yes, but in my home I don't have weight. Okay. And I practice a functional. Okay, Fit that, that would be lifting. I'm going to write it in the chat. Okay, lifting yeah. weights. Yeah. That's how you say it. Lifting weights. Okay, okay. Lifting that's how you say it. Okay. okay, to be honest, I like to go to the gym. But when I, I liked to go to the gym. But when I started working at Praxis, I had to stop. And I loved, I loved lifting weights. I loved that thing, but I had to stop. Okay. Okay. Continue speaking. I'm going to be back in a moment. Okay. Thank you. Okay. To practice volleyball, but a few years ago, don't practice. My father was a good player with the volleyball in the university. So, I would like to be like him, so I I don't keep to practicing anymore. No, mija, el legado para la basura por culpa suya, sí. Ah, ¿qué are you talking about, Mariana? Why are you? Why are you speaking Spanish? Uh, ladies, I have a question for you. What kind, pay attention. What kind of exercise, physical exercise, do you like to do? We've got running, jogging, uh, weight lifting. Uh, we also got CrossFit and etc. and etc. and etc. What do and, you ladies like to do? It's um, first two. Yeah, yeah. You can also talk about it. Okay. And I like doing 
and basketball with oh, my okay. family, my mother, sister in a, I don't know how to say, cancha, playground. Court, court, court. See, court and court. near of my house. Okay, beautiful. What about you, Diana and Mariana? Diana, Diana. Oh. <laughs> uh, oh, I was saying, uh, I would like, I like practicing volleyball, but I, I don't practice anymore. But in this moment, I like more reading. I'm more than and of course, don't do it. Don't do it. Like, yeah, it's quarantine time, so same as me. I like, I like uh, cycling. Cycling? Mm, yes. Okay, what about you, Mariana? I love to do exercise. I do, I practice volleyball and tennis. And um, I do like functional training, not crossfit. Yes, I like. CrossFit, we need to tools and that. And functional okay. only in my body. Yeah, yeah, I know the difference. That's good, that's good. All right, ladies, I'm gonna leave you as my father said. <laughs> so, yeah, dun, dun, dun. return to my session. So give God a da 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 da. Okay, so it's time to continue. I just, I just is time to talk with the French. <laughs> I said five minutes, and I gave you more. I gave you more than five minutes. Me sacó como tres veces porque el internet se cayó. Ah, but but that is not my fault. How would I know that? Well, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. Uh, so, it's time to continue, uh, ladies and gentlemen, and I want you to look at this picture. Okay, chun, chun, chun. I want you to look at this picture. Oof. What's the first thing, what's the first, first, first thing that comes to your mind? Monkey. A monkey, right? Yes. What's the first? <laughs> Keep going. What's the first thing that comes to your mind when you looked at that picture? Dirty. Sapiens. Evolution. Prehistory. Prehistory. Okay. Ancestral. Ancestral. Uh, what about this word? Um, Sorry. A theory. Paleolithic. Sorry. It's a kind of the. It's a period. Age. Yeah, it's it's a age. When the biggest age. Older human. Yes. We're talking about history today, all right? But what happens with this guy? Yay. What is what is he holding in his the first human in the world? In history, in the history of humankind, all right? Register, register, right? Uh yeah, register. What, once again, what is he holding? What is he holding in his right hand? I mean, Papitas, fast hamburger. Food. Fast, food. fast food. Okay, a synonym, a synonym, uh, not to say fast food, all right? There is another way to call that food. Um, healthy food. No. Junk food. It starts with J. Junk food. Junk, junk food, right? Very good job, yes. junk food. When we say junk food, we talked about food in general. That's not healthy. Fast food, all right? On the other hand, fast food, all right? It's like hamburgers, hot dogs, picaditas. I love picaditas for the ones who don't know it. I know you all know. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> um, all of those things that we can find, like in, um, generally speaking, restaurants that are on a street, right? Informal restaurants, all right? Or fast food restaurants. But when we say fast food, we talked about the whole thing, 
it can be a chocolate bar, it can be um, a piece of cake, it can simply be, you know, like a smoothie, something like that, right? Anything that's not healthy. Let me raise this word, right? Now, I want you to take a look at point number two. I'm going to <clears throat> read for you. You are going to read an article. What is the title of the article? Going back to nat Going nat back to natural. Uh, what did I say about the pronunciation of that word? Nature. 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 <laughs> okay, look at the title and the picture, right? We have already analyzed both, right? What do you think the article will be about? Now, I want to listen to your opinions about it. What do you think is the article going to be about? The evolution. The evolution. The, the evolution. evolution of food or something. Evolution of food, traditions. What else can we say? Try to connect or link the picture and the title. I got banned. Sorry? The advance of the nation. Lisa, I. No, mija. No, it, it was almost impossible for me to understand. At the beginning, I know she was saying advance or advance. Advances, something like that, all right? Lisa, you can share your opinion in the chat section, right? Now, let's go straight to the B part and um, point number three. So, B, now read the article and check your predictions, right? And three, discuss these questions with a partner, right? We are not going to discuss them, right? We are not going to discuss them. We're going to do it as well. So, have you heard about Paleo before and two. What do you think about it? All right. What do you think about it? It's time to read, ladies. I'm going to give you the article is pretty short, so I'm going to give you five minutes, right? Five minutes, real quick.
Okay, so for the ones who underline the words, okay, for the word, um, I'm going to use spotlight here, okay? So the pronunciation, feeder, fit, feeder, all right? Fit, feeder. Disease, okay? Disease. Disease, diseases, all right? The word is in its plural form. Diseases, all right? Synonym, synonym of the word illness, all right? Or sickness. The same as in Spanish, I mean the spelling, but the pronunciation is totally different. Diabetes, diabetes, right? How do you pronounce this one? Cancer. 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 Yeah. Right. Uh, what about this one? Die. 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 All right. Very good job. All right. Let me see. Uh, 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 for the person who underlined plenty of, all right? Plenty of. It's like to say a lot of, plenty of, don't forget. It's like to say a lot of, all right? A lot of, and the pronunciation, once again, plenty of, right? It's together, plenty of, all right? Good. And chan, 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 the last one, lack, okay? Lack, lack of, it's like to say not enough. Not enough, okay? Lack of, not enough. Or small portion. This word can be used as a noun, written in the lack, okay? Like, we need more, right? Or to lack, okay? And it means the same. Now, the title, I'm going to read it for you and I'm going to say the name of a person, right? That person has to start reading, okay? I am going to uh, say stop and I'm going to say the name of another person, right? And that person has to continue reading, okay? So I'm going to start. Going back to nature, Maida. The paleo movement is a re recent trend in health and fitness. Followers of paleo believe that if we eat an exercise like people from paleo paleolithic times, paleolithic times, uh, four thousand years ago, we will be there, healthier and happier. It stop there, right? Paleolithic. Paleolithic. All right. Times 40,000. 40,000 years ago, right? Thank you very much. Fitter, healthier, and happier, right? Very good job. Uh, Valentina, many of. Um, many of today's diseases, this is a life. Diabetes and, can and cancer exist as a result of our modern diet and lifestyle. Prehistoric people didn't get this illness. Instead, they did um, from things like viruses or old age. Okay, so remember, diabetes, right? Diabetes and cancer, ta -ta -ta, exists as a result of our diet and lifestyle. Very good pronunciation. Diabetes, right? Today's new word, okay? Remember, it's like pre, pre, right? Prehistoric, prehistoric people, prehistoric people didn't get these illnesses. Don't forget to pluralize, okay? Don't forget to pronounce the last S, okay? Illnesses, diseases, okay? It's like s -s -s. diseases, illnesses. Instead, they die from things like viruses or old age, right? Thank you very much. Um, 
Alexander, how to go paleo? Item number one. Yes, uh, eat only natural food like meat, vegetables and fruit. Avoid food uh, that wasn't around at Paleolithic times. So new potatoes or bread and definitely no junk food like, like crepes. Okay, thank you very much, Why? Alexander. Sorry? Crisps? What is crisps? crisps? It's like things that are like, I don't know, like uh, everything that's related to the toditos, all of those things, right? Uh, like groceries? Cheese? Yeah. Okay, what? so. Baskets. Yeah. So, uh, eat only natural, natural food like meat, all right? Very good pronunciation, vegetables, all right? Vegetables and fruit, all right? And fruit. Avoid food that wasn't around in Paleolithic times. So, no potatoes, oats, or bread. And definitely no junk food, right? Crisps. Don't forget the glasses. Crisps. Item number two, Alejandra, be active. Be active, but make time to relax too. Prehistoric people had to save energy. All right, excellent. Uh, Priscilla, where are you? Do plenty of. Do plenty of gentle exercise like walking, cycling, and swimming. Only do intense activity like weight lifting and fast running occasionally. Uh, okay. Pay attention, please. And the rest of you guys, the stress, occasionally, right? Not occasionally, occasionally, right? And I don't know if you remember, but gentle, right? Do you remember this word? The pronunciation of the same was taught yesterday, I think. Gentle, right? Gentle exercise, like walking, so on, da, da, da. okay, good. Uh, item number... <laughs> Yes? Gentle. I forget gentle exercise. What is that? Gentle is like soft, something very like normal, like not too demanding, gentle. No. Yes? No? Softly. Like soft, Softly. like quiet, like not too demanding. Sweet exercise. Yes, kind of, kind of. Yes, no, Mayra? Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. No, item number four. Uh, Luisa Fernanda Duran, are you there? Yes. Okay, so do natural. Do natural movements such so as, I me tocó lo más difícil. Towing, <laughs> carrying, cutting, which use the wool body. Okay, don't worry, dear. I know the pronunciation of some of these words are quite tricky so pay attention pay attention do natural movements such as throwing throw oh such as throwing carrying catching okay catching right which use the whole the whole body right cool yeah body okay good um and chan 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 diana Number five, reduce. Reduce your stress levels. Don't spend too much time at work. All right, excellent. And last but not least, chun, chun, chun. Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Uh, Luisita W, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Spend time in the sun. Spend time in the sun so you get enough vitamin D. Lack of this can make you depressed. Oh my God, excellent. Woo. All right, lack thank of you, this can make you depressed at the end, right? 
Very good job, everybody. Uh, let me clear our drawings and uh, it's time to continue. So, uh, have you heard, as we were saying at the beginning, have you heard about polio before? Have you heard about this movement before? Yes. Uh, this move, this this movement uh, avoid the processed uh, food. Uh, processed food, right? Things that are kind of, yeah, like um, uh, for instance, when you go to McDonald's, oof, jeez, meat there is. Yeah. And uh, transgenic foods, food, trans transgenicos, transgenicos. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, but what's that? For the ones who don't know, uh, what Diane is talking about is food that's generally modified, all right? For it like to, we uh, challenge. Yes. For it to good look, it, and uh, when I when I say food, it's like everything. It can be meat, it can be food, sorry, it can be fruit, it can be vegetables, everything, right? Now, what do you think about it? What do you think about this movement? Would you do it? Would you go paleo? I don't like paleo because I can't eat gomitas. <laughs> gummies, gummies. <laughs> Come, did you guys it like this? I'm going to gummies. That's how you say gomitas. Um, well, yes, yes, why not? Well, to be honest, um, for me, it would be difficult. Hard. Like, yeah, it would be difficult. Hard. But that doesn't, that doesn't mean that I wouldn't do it, right? If it is for my health and my own benefit, I would go paleo. Like, definitely. All right? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to continue. I don't know if you noticed it or not, but... Some of the words in the text were in bold, right? Like fitness, diseases, diet, and etc. right? Now, it's time to place all of the words that are in bold in the categories or groups we've got in point number four. So we've got category number one, eating, category number two, doing slash not doing exercise, category number three, okay, being ill, and category number four, mental health right now in front of the category you can write pay attention you can write the word from the text i am going to help you with the first one let me use the text option ah, what happened here so geez what happened text okay So we've got for category number three being ill illnesses right that's all you have to do ladies go ahead use the annotate tool and write down the front of the group or category excellent stress the words that are in the text Very good job, you're doing great. Jump food, that's it. Thank you very much, Valentina. Okay. Natural food, good. Ah, sorry. Jeez. What happened here? <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, we're back. Um, I'll try to move this one, gentle exercise, here, okay, cycling, I think the only one we're missing is weight lifting, 
You can also use that the other way around. But when you say... Is the second point. Uh, doing not, uh, not doing exercise. Okay. Very good job, Luisa. So, uh, chan, chan, chan. Okay, so, I think the exercise was basic. And uh, first thing I need to say, thank you very much for your participation. So, we've got category number one, natural food, right? And junk food. That's good. Number options. Category number two, doing slash not doing exercise. So, we've got cycling. Fitness, all right, that's good. Uh, gentle exercise, and the one Luisa said, right? In category number three, we've got illnesses, cancer, and what about diseases? diseases. Yes, it's also there, right? And last one, mental health, right? We've got stress and depressed. Remember that depressed is like at the end, right? Depressed. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, very, trust me, very good job. Now, what do we have to do, right? We're going to use some of these words, right? We're going to use some of these words in order to complete the B part of the exercise, all right? The B part of the exercise. So, let me help you with the first one. In today's world, in today's world of escalators and cars, we are not as, mm -hmm -hmm, as we were before. We are not as, mm -hmm -hmm, as we were before. There is one word which you didn't write in the categories, but that's used here, active, all right? We are not as active as we were before, okay? Now, I want you to go ahead and complete the exercise with the words from the A part, right? Go. Which point? Uh, Luisa, four but the B part, all right? Okay. The second is diet. Say yes, say Luisa, diet. A healthier diet, okay. And and eat more natural food. Mm -hmm. Uh but I love junk food. <laughs> junk food, yes. Yeah. This is me, definitely, all right? I would like to have a healthier diet, all right, and eat more natural food. But I love junk food, right? Very good job. Jeez. Give me a second, give me a second, give me a second. Teacher, uh, the third is stress. Oh, she will. Can someone write it, please? The, the third. So you say stress, right? Yes. Swimming is a great way to improve your stress. To improve it, to increase it. 
No, 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 by the way. Exercise, no? Uh, okay, I'm going to give you like a clue. It starts with F. To improve your... Fitness. 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 Okay. Very good job. All right. I think the fourth is like the breast. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, the breast. Yes. Okay. Most native speakers are not going to say the press, right? They're going to say, hey, guy, especially when they are like having a conversation with a friend. Hey, bro, I'm feeling a little bit down, right? I'm feeling a little bit down, like depressed. Okay. Very good job, Lisa. My God, you're flying. Depressed. Quas, quas, quas. Quas, 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 quas. Relax. Relax in, in six. Uh, six. Yes. Relax. Woo. That's it. Relax. I'm going to write it for you. Relax. Sorry. Relax. Oh, relax. Okay. And what about number five? That's a difficult one. I need to say it. That's a difficult one. A stress? No. Illness. Sorry? Illness. 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 Oh my God. Eso, illness. illness. My God, Luisa. Jesus Christ. So last winter, she had a long illness. She had, a long, she had a long illness, all right? So, well, I'm going to consider that, Luisa, your participation is being very 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 good all right uh, thank, you, thank you okay ladies time to continue with our pronunciation exercise all right now go straight to exercise number five okay pay close attention to this because this is a little bit confusing and the reason why it's because there is no rule behind it all right that's something about phonetics and uh, it has a really long story. So I'm not going. It's like. Sorry. It's like, how to say it? Like, eat um, bread. Yes. So the okay. best way to learn the difference, the best way to learn the difference between both, okay, is to practice, is to say it, is to get used to the pronunciation of these words. So we have got it right and the pronunciation is like an i all right it sounds like the vowel i it all right but we can also pronounce this combination of vowels e and a as a okay bread bread all right bread and bread i'm going to use the spotlight all right i'm going to say the name of a person and that person has to pronounce the word I am pointing at. All right? Let's give it a try. No right yes. answers. We are practicing. Okay? So, the first person is Chun Chun Chun. Uh, Luisa Duran. This is. All right. Very good job. So I am pronouncing this combination of vowels, all right? E and A as E, all right? Disease, DC, disease, all right? Very good job, Lisa. Now, what about this one, uh, hmm, Valentina? Valentina? Yes, no, maybe. 
Is she there? Vale. No, no, she's not here. What happened with her? Jeez. I thought she was here. All right. So uh, the next person is Chun Chun Chun. Diana. Held. Held. All right. Held. Very good job. Now, this word or the combination of these vowels is pronounced like this one, right? Health, hey, health, right? What about this one, Alejandra? Meat. Meat, all right? Meat, all right? The first one. Yeah, very good job. What about this one, Priscilla? How do you pronounce this word? Instead. Instead. Yes. No, instead. Instead. Okay. Thank you very much, Priscilla and Luisa. Okay. Instead. All right. What about this one, uh, Alexander? Easy. Easy. Very good job. First or second? Uh, second. Yes. Easy. No. E. Yes. Easy, Easy. Right. the first one, okay? Good. Okay. And chan, chan, chan. What about, uh, what about, oh my God, Mabel? Jesus, I had forgotten. What, what is Mabel? Okay, sorry. Uh, Alejandra, Alejandra, once again. This one. Wither. Wither? Wither. Weather, 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 right? weather, right? First or second? Second. The second one, the weather. And Mayra? Already. Sorry? Already. Already. Okay. Already. Already. The first one or the second one? Second. Second, second one. Already. Okay. Sure. I'm so sorry, but I need to see the chat conversation, please. You need to what? You see the the chat okay, let me see conversation. The... Yep. But oh. not here in WhatsApp. Ah, okay. <laughs> like, give me a second. Um, mm, 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 mm. um Like really, give me a second. It's gonna be real quick. Mm -hmm. It's taking a few seconds. And there it is, okay? So what happened? Chun, chun, chun. Ah, okay, 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 okay. So you're going to join it, right? Yeah. Okay, not a problem, dear. I thought it was a kind of emergency. I was a little bit worried. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's important to me. Okay, but it was like, geez. All right. So, uh, sorry, sorry. So the word is chun, chun, chun. Okay, what about this word? How do you pronounce this word? The one I have just written. Depends. It depends. Okay, it depends. Okay, it depends if on what? Is it present? Is read, and if is in past or past past participle. <laughs> past participle in its past participle conjugation. It's yes, read. It's okay. Read. As I was saying before, there is not like a rule behind it. We can't like say that. Uh, we can easily say or infer that if the word starts with W, the pronunciation of the combination of vowels can be, can be, pay attention, A. But what if I write this word here? How do you pronounce this? Weak. Weak, right? So once again, there is no like an established rule that is like there to tell us, hey, you need to pronounce that, that word this way and this word this way. No, 
You need to learn them by heart. And the more you practice the pronunciation, the better. The easier is going to be for you to learn the difference. Okay. Teacher, what is the meaning of weak? So weak is like uh, the antonym, pay attention, the antonym of the word is strong, right? Is the antonym. You are strong or you are weak, like no muscle. Okay. Okay, okay. Mm, sorry for the illustration. <laughs> Too much information. <laughs> uh, guys, it's time to move on. All right, it's time to move on. We're going to skip the last exercise because we have already talked about this a lot. We're going to go straight to the second part of today's class. All right. Grammar and listening, okay? Present tenses in the future time classes. All right. I know the title sounds long and kind of weird, but it's pretty much the same what we're working with. First condition, first condition, right? So don't worry. Now, let's take a look at the first part of this lesson. Read the adverb. What is move net, right? And how is it different from going to a gym? And how is it different from going to a gym? Would you like to do a fitness course like this? Say why or why not? Okay, I'm going to give you, it's really short, so it's three minutes in order to read it and three minutes in order to answer the three questions. Go ahead. Teacher, I can underline any word. Yes, me too. Okay, I think uh, try try now. Can you do it? Yes, now yes. Okay, okay. Sorry, I have forgotten. Lo volví a quitar, teacher. Lo volví a quitar, teacher. No, no, no ya parece. No, ya parece. Ya pues, ¿qué? ¿Qué está pasando? Igual. Okay. 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 Teacher, and sorry, I had problems with the internet. And what are we doing? Uh, don't worry, dear. That can happen. So pay attention. Uh, we are on exercise number nine. Remember the class is being recorded so you can watch the part you missed. Okay? I'm going to share the link with you. Nine, no, seven. Uh, yeah, sorry. Seven. Thank you. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm going farther than expected. Thank you. 
Okay, so it's been three minutes. It's time to continue. So the question, it's, remember. Sorry. The screen is not a mirror. Okay. So how is it different from going to a gym? All right. What's the difference between the course and the gym? In the course, uh, you you are in the open air, and in a gym, you are in a closed place. And in the gym, you do repetitive repetitive exercise in a machine, and in the course, you can do different movements like running, jumping, climbing, catching, throwing. Uh, okay. Okay, very good explanation, Maida. Geez. Okay, now the question, everybody. Would you like to do a fitness course like this one? If you, of course, if you had the opportunity, would you yes. do it? Yes. Okay, Mariana. Yes, says, yes. Teacher, I yes. answered at the chat section. Okay, yeah, chan, chan, chan. Let me see. If I send my man to, to it and seriously want to, okay, that's it. Um, well, I would also do it if I'm offered, but the thing is, um, I would have to buy like new clothes because everything is going to be like different, right? It's like everything will be, and here is the word, here is the word, chum, chum, chum. Yes. everything will be wild, right? Wild. Okay. Everything is going to be wild. Uh, that's why. So somebody underlined the word crawling. Crawl. Oh, it's like oh, crawling. All right. What do you need? The pronunciation or the meaning? The or, meaning. The meaning. Yes. Okay. Like crawling is the same as to walk, but as a baby. That's to crawl. Catear. Kind of. What? I don't understand, sorry. Walk like a baby. He said. Maybe, 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 maybe. Give me a second, maybe. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, what about, how do you pronounce, give me a second, I'm going to use the spotlight. How do you pronounce this one? I'm a little bit curious. Balancing. Balancing. Balancing, all right. What about this one? Climbing. 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 Very good job, climbing. Uh, what's the pronunciation of this word? Cool. 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 And this one? Body. Body. Body, ah, body right? Very good job. The next so one, happy. movement. The next <laughs> so, one, running. I'm so, I'm so next, happy with my students. Jumping. Uh, all right. All right. Uh, don't forget uh, to pronounce it at the end. So how do you pronounce this one? Wait. 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 All right. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, I think it was Mayra. Yes, Mayra. Uh, so open air, outdoor, okay? You can also say outdoor sports, outdoor sports, and indoor sports. Outdoor, that means we're going to do it outside, okay? And indoor, okay? You're going to do it like in a building, a place that's covered. Okay. Thank you very much, ladies and Alexander for your participation. It's time to continue, it's time to move on, right? So here is the listening exercise. I know my students love listening exercises. J, so A, A, and A, B. Now, listen to a woman inquiring. What is the word inquiring? What is that? Inquiring. An extra point for the person that gives me the synonym of the word inquiring. Quickly, quickly, quickly. To inquire, a synonym. Like asking? Yay! 
Who was it, Valentina? Yes, yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Valentina, Sue. Sorry, Sue. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to raise this. Sue. Okay, Valentina. Sue. Right, very, <laughs> very good job, Valentina. Inquiring, okay, for you to know it. Inquiring about a move not course, all right? Tick. Attention, tick the things she wants to know about it, right? So we've got six options one, the cost or cost, all right? Level of fitness, what happens in what better, but weather, sorry, dates, book in advance, and last one, what to bring. Let me raise this and it's time to check the sound. Uh, sorry, powerful erases, time to stop using you. Come on, baby, you can you can do it. One of these days, maybe today or tomorrow, I don't know. But one of these days you can you can yes, like Maybe, maybe not today, maybe tomorrow. Okay, sorry. Ah, oh, geez. What's going on? But how, okay. Audio 9.4. Hi, I'm calling about the MovNat training course in November. Okay, great. Are you interested in coming on the course? Yes, I am. But I've just got a few questions I'd like to ask. Right, fire away. Well... The first question is, do you need to have a good level of fitness? It's just that I'm quite unfit at the moment. Does that matter? I mean, do I need to go to the gym before I begin the course? No, no. The course is for anybody. It doesn't matter how fit you are. When you arrive, the instructor will check your fitness level and will then divide you into two groups, beginner and intermediate. Right. Sounds good. I was also wondering about the weather. The course is outdoors, isn't it? It's in a park. What will happen if it rains or snows? Will you cancel it or will it be indoors? Um, no. With MovNet, you need to practice your skills in all weather conditions. That's part of our philosophy. The course will take place outside, whatever the weather. If it's raining or snowing, the experience will be even more exciting. Okay. <laughs> so, is it necessary to book a place, or would it be all right to just turn up? No, you'll definitely need to reserve a place before you come. The courses are popular, and places are limited. In fact, there are only two or three places left in November. Would you like me to book you onto the course now? Uh, I just need to check I can make those dates. Then I'll call and book. Okay. Don't miss your place, though. <laughs> no, I won't. I'll get back to you as soon as I know. Okay, sounds good. Speak to you soon, I hope. We're going to listen to it again. Don't worry. Audio 9.4 Hi, I'm calling about the MovNat training course in November. Okay, great. Are you interested in coming on the course? Yes, I am, but I've just got a few questions I'd like to ask. Right, fire away. Well, the first question is, do you need to have a good level of fitness? It's just that I'm quite unfit at the moment. Does that matter? I mean, do I need to go to the gym before I begin the course? No, no. The course is for anybody. It doesn't matter how fit you are. When you arrive, the instructor will check your fitness level and will then divide you into two groups, beginner and intermediate. Right. Sounds good. I was also wondering about the weather. The course is outdoors, isn't it? It's in a park. What will happen if it rains or snows? Will you cancel it or will it be indoors? Um, no. With MovNet, you need to practice your skills in all weather conditions. That's part of our philosophy. The course will take place outside, whatever the weather. If it's raining or snowing, the experience will be even more exciting. 
Okay. <laughs> so is it necessary to book a place or would it be all right to just turn, turn up? No, you'll definitely need to reserve a place before you come. The courses are popular and places are limited. In fact, there are only two or three places left in November. Would you like me to book you onto the course now? Uh, I just need to check I can make those dates. Then I'll call and book. Okay. Don't miss your place, though. <laughs> no, I won't. I'll get back to you as soon as I know. Okay. Sounds good. Speak to you soon, I hope. Okay, so how was it? Was it hard? Was it difficult? Medium level or piece of cake? What can you say about it? Medium level? Like hard? What? Please let me know. If you couldn't understand a lot, I am going to play it again. Do you want me to play it again? Yes? Yay. Okay, so here we go. Now, before we continue, pay attention. So, we've got four answers here. Three of them are Midas, and one of it, one of them, sorry, is Valentina's. Do you agree with their answers? Do you agree with Midas and Valentina's answers? Yes, yes. All of them? Okay, I think that's yes. No, no. Yes, definitely. Yes. Okay, so we will listen to the track again and we will see. Audio 9.4. Hi, I'm calling about the MOVNAT training course in November. Okay, great. Are you interested in coming on the course? Yes, I am. But I've just got a few questions I'd like to ask. Right, fire away. Well, the first question is, do you need to have a good level of fitness? It's just that I'm quite unfit at the moment. Does that matter? I mean, do I need to go to the gym before I begin the course? No, no. The course is for anybody. It doesn't matter how fit you are. When you arrive, the instructor will check your fitness level and will then divide you into two groups, beginner and intermediate. Right. Sounds good. I was also wondering about the weather. The course is outdoors, isn't it? It's in a park. What will happen if it rains or snows? Will you cancel it or will it be indoors? Um, no. With MovNet, you need to practice your skills in all weather conditions. That's part of our philosophy. The course will take place outside, whatever the weather. If it's raining or snowing, the experience will be even more exciting. Okay. <laughs> so, is it necessary to book a place, or would it be all right to just turn up? No, you'll definitely need to reserve a place before you come. The courses are popular, and places are limited. In fact, there are only two or three places left in November. Would you like me to book you onto the course now? Uh, I just need to check I can make those dates. Then I'll call and book. Okay. Don't miss your place, though. <laughs> no, I won't. I'll get back to you as soon as I know. Okay, sounds good. Speak to you soon, I hope. That was pretty funny. <laughs> I was trying to... Okay, it doesn't matter. So, three of them were right. I think it was Luisa Duran. Yes. Uh, she didn't agree with days and she was right. The man is speaking about a month. Which one was it? November. November. Yes, November. November. But pay attention. The girl didn't ask about days. All right. It was the man saying, hey, we've got two places in November. Would you like to book now? And she said, no. I need to check, blah, blah, blah and so on, right? So very good job, Luisa. Very good job, Mayra and Valentina, okay? 
the only wrong option was dates, right? But I know it was a little bit confusing because they were saying, or like they did mention a month. Yeah. So that's why. Yeah. So the question is, which is the level of fitness? You need to go and take a course uh, there. Doesn't matter. It doesn't yeah. matter, right? Doesn't matter. The course is for anyone, okay? Now, second question, what happens in bad weather conditions? Do they stop? No, the experience is better. The experience is better, right? You they can are... improve your skills in that weather. Okay, very good job. And does she need to book in advance? Yes. Okay, why? What happens? Why? Because the courses are what? Very... Fancy. Very... Fancy. Pop... Popular. Ah, yes. Very popular. That's why. Okay. That's why. Okay. Very good job. Now, Let's go straight to exercise number 9A, okay? Match the two halves of these sentences. Match the two halves of these sentences, all right? So we have got one, two, three, four, five, and six, and we've got A, B, C, D, E, and F, okay? Now, these sentences, all right, are related or linked to the track we were just listening. So try to match the sentences without, what happened, Valentina, you were like, whoa, over there. Try to match the sentences without listening. I will try to tag the last time. But after you match the options and then with the numbers and stuff, all right? So I'm going to give you three minutes in order to match the numbers with the letters. Dajana, number four is yours. Go ahead, number four is yours. If it's raining or snowing, what? Uh, no, you said the answer. Yes, 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 but I am doing in the boot. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> Is the option B, yes. Yes, yes, please, thank you. Okay, so how many hours can I count? One, two, three, four. Chan, 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 one. And what happened with number one? <laughs> okay, yes, I've just. Okay, so I uh, am. Um, mm -mm -mm. Maida, can you please read number one? Yes, um, do I need to go to the gym before I begin the course? Okay, before I begin, begin the course, right? Very good job. But the person who answered was 
Valentina. Both of you did a great job. Uh, what about number two? Uh, Alexander, when you arrive. Uh, when you arrive, the instructor will assess your fitness level. Okay, thank you, Alexander. Instructor, the instructor will assess your fitness level. Excellent. What about number three? Uh, Valentina. What will happen if it rains or snows? What will happen if it rains or snows? Snow, oh, snows, right? Thank you. Um, what about Mariana, number four? She's not here. She's not here. Yes, I'm here. <laughs> Mariana no se despidió. No, no. It, was, it, it was my... Uh, Alejandra. 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 Yes. So number four, it's raining, if it's raining or snowing. It's raining or snowing, the experience will be even more exciting. Mayra? Thank you, Mayra? Yes. Do you remember the ING use of the, do you remember the question? The one you asked me at the beginning? Yes, yes, uh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, now pay attention. This is the way you have to use it, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, number five, me. I want to participate oh, of the teacher. So you will definitely need to reserve a place before you come. Okay. And last but not least, Visita W. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Number six. I'll get back to you as soon as I know. Okay. Very good job. Ladies, I don't know if you remember. Let me clear all drawings. Very good job. I don't know if you remember. Uh, let me use the spotlight. All right. But some of the words we are using here, some of the words we're using here are words I was talking about yesterday, right? Remember the use of when, as soon as, all right, if, all right. There is a new word here, before, okay, blah, blah, blah. Okay, most of these words are used with conditionals, right? Most of these words are used with conditionals. Now, what am I talking about this? because I'm going to start talking about today's grammar topic or grammar focus, all right? We are going to skip exercise number 10 and need you to focus on exercise number 11. So let's take a look at it. Pay attention, let's take a look at it. Let's analyze it together, all right? I'm going to read it for you. I want you to give me the answer. So we use mm -hmm, or mm -hmm, Tenses to talk about the future after when, if, as soon as, before, and after. Let's take a look at, at the what? At the example, you will need to book a place before you come, not before you will come. Now, which is the answer? Present or future? Present. Present. Very good job. I am used this time a hard, right? We use present tenses, all right? Remember, all of these words, all of these words, and especially when using the first conditional, need to go that way, right? They need to follow that structure. So when, if, as soon as, before and after, all of those words, all right, need to be followed by a present tense or sentence. Now, number two, we use if or when, when we are not sure something will happen. The answer is? Take your time. If. If, very good job, 
right? We use if, when we are not sure something will happen. All right, let me continue. We use mm -hmm, or, mm -hmm, well, the answer is quite obvious. We use when, when we are sure, right? We use when or as soon as to show that one thing will happen, pay attention to the pronunciation of this word, immediately, will happen immediately after another, when or as soon as. As soon as. Okay, very good job, ladies and gentlemen, all right? As soon as, remember, to show that one thing is going to proceed another one, all right? If it rains, they won't cancel the course, all right? When the course finishes, coma, don't forget it. Do you remember yesterday's instructor? When the course finishes, we'll feel exhausted, all right? Remember that when we start with if, as soon as, when, before, blah, 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 and so on, we need to place a coma in the middle of the classes, right? But what happens if I start with the result? Do I need a coma? No. It is, no. Not, it is not necessary, okay? So don't forget it. Don't forget that beautiful part. All right, let me clear all my drawings. Okay. Uh, sorry. <laughs> let me clear all my drawings. All right, ladies, do you have questions about this? Do you understand no. it? How is it for you? Difficult, middle level, like easy piece of cake? I am like, I... In the middle? I am, I am learning this topic with Jorgen Westerhouse. Okay, conditional too. All right, so it's, remember, it's, keep it basic, as I was saying at the beginning, keep it basic. Ladies and gentlemen, so remember, the if part or the condition uses the present, simple, simple present, right? That part uses the present tenses. The second part, which is the result, right? The second part, which is the result, uses the future part, right? Describes the possible result, okay? Teacher, and is it the same of the previous topic? Yes, it's pretty much the same. The difference is, the difference is, we are expanding a little bit. And what's that expansion about? The use of these words. The before when, and as soon as. Uh-huh, okay, yeah. That's what I was saying uh, at the beginning of the class, that this topic sounded kind of weird and complicated, <laughs> but trust me, it isn't. Now, this is the last exercise. I just want you, pay attention. I just want you to complete the first exercise. No more than that. Let's take a look at it. So we have A and B. It's a conversation, right? Now, what do you have to do? You need to use the correct form of the present simple or will, okay? And the verbs that are in brackets, all right? I just want you to complete the first point. No more than that, all right? Take your time. I don't understand the fears. 
Okay, Mayra, what happens here? Before, right? Remember that the word before is the same as to say if, it's the same as to say, uh, but, but, but well, are you talking about the meaning of the sentence? Um, yes, uh, Mayra, I'm like change it. my mind or what? The conjugation of change. Oh, all, the all, whole thing? Yes, the conjugation. The whole phrase, the conjugation. Okay. Okay, I am going to explain it step by step, right? So come on. Okay. Let's book, all right? Remember, let's reserve this course. Let's reserve this course, right? That's the first thing. Before I change, okay, what happens with the first part? If you say let's, okay, if you say let's, it's like to talk about something that's going to happen in the future, right? Yeah, we are I not. Why I don't understand, but because say let's book this course before. Okay. Ah, antes que cambie mi. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. Now, before, right? <laughs> Remember, before is the same as to say if when blah 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 in terms of its structure so what happens after the word before we need to use the what the simple present okay priscilla you are flying that's it that's the right answer yes okay excellent priscilla congratulations congrats congrats so i promise you you will enjoy it when you get there all right Priscilla, very good. I'm going to this. Chan, chan, chan. Please. And you got an extra point, right? Very good job, Priscilla. Uh, guys, this is the end of the class. Is the, uh, yes. The third can be do you think we will do warm up exercise before we do a start? Okay, yeah. So, uh, I'm going to stop sharing my screen. Okay, so Dayana, Luisa Duran, Alexander, Mayra, Pris, Mariana, Valentina, and Lisita W. First thing is first. So turn on your camera. <laughs> please, please, please. Turn on your camera. Uh, second thing. What do I want you to do? Tomorrow's class is going to start with a very short quiz. Okay? With a very, very, very short. <laughs> Hello, Valentina. Uh, with a very short quiz. Okay? What do I want you to do? Okay? The quiz is going to be about the first condition. I want you to go ahead and practice with the exercises we've done and with the rest of the exercise, okay? I just want you to understand the way we use first condition, okay? So, once again, turn on your... What's going on, Lucita? Uh, okay. Uh, Alexander, Mariana, turn on your camera, please. Time to take our daily photo. So, um, uh, <laughs> Luisa Oran is like, <clears throat> oh, God. <laughs> uh, okay, nice, nice. Nice to see your faces. So, uh, I want you to pose like models, like, I don't know, imagine you are, well, actually you are, all of you, um, like models, like, wow, like, like an explosion of, you know, one, Two, <laughs> one, two, three. Another one. The last one. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you very much for making this big effort. See you tomorrow. Don't forget to study, right? Tomorrow's class is going to start with what? A quiz. Bye bye. <laughs> bye, you. teacher. Thank you. Bye, teacher. Bye.